Hi everyone, this is an update to the instructional video for the disassembly of the Impossible Project uh, Polary Lab. Uh, this is the first step uh, in the conversion of the Impossible Project Lab into a film bag. Whether using my my adapter kits for Mamaya RB67 or Mamaya under suppress or Polar Resist under the C for now, or other kits like the discontinued one uh, sold by Resivot. And the first step is uh, receiving this. You may have received this in a box. This is the original, this is the possible project Polar Lab in box, or you may have just uh, received this the actual unit now uh, there are three models of this one of them is called the original um, kickstarter model the silver plate and it was followed by this guy with a black plate and then it was followed by one with a larger adapter plate for bigger iPhones there are the inside of these are virtually identical except a bunch of screws like the size of the screws and that's really relevant for what you're trying to do. All right, so I'll get this out. And uh, when we do this, we probably use this too. It's useful as a tray for screws and put things, put things aside. So I'm just gonna reassemble the box, use it as a stand, and here's the lab. So the first thing we wanna do when we do this, uh, take the top cover, and you may keep this. It's a good rubber piece. I don't use them for anything at the moment, but I may in the future. So sometimes I keep them, sometimes I throw them away. So we we'll just keep this for now. So let's put it out of the way. We don't need it now. All right. So uh, what do we need to do? We need to remove this plate and remove the top. The top should be replaced with in the next video uh, with an adapter kit depending what adapter kit you're buying if you buy the adapter kit from me so the first tip to do this is basically remove these two screws and this will allow us to remove the back cover it kind of slides off after we do that so let's we're gonna need um, a screwdriver which i had here it's a philips 00 screwdriver and ideally a pair of tweezers and later in the game, we may need a pair of pliers, may or may not. It's really recommended to use a pair of small pliers. All right, so let's take the screws off. Just gonna take them off one by one. Be very careful when I do this. And do not use an elevated platform like I do because you may lose them, but I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes. So one of them, carefully put it aside. And this is the other one. All right, side. Uh, the way this cover slides off, it's just like that. Um, the reason I say slide off because both the lab, as you can see it very well, and the cover have these registration pins for this. So there, there's two tabs here and two tabs here. When you reassemble it, you kind of have to do that. Kind of slide it in. It doesn't work to slide all the way because of those pins right here. Anyway, so let's put this aside. We are gonna save this for the next step. All right, let's put it in the same tray. And uh, the reason we're doing this because on the inside of the lab, there's two other screws that hold the top. One here, and one here. Not very visible here. Not sure how to angle all the slides to see them properly. But they're in there, trust me. One in here, one in here. Very small again, and you don't really want to lose these. Actually, uh, all the adapter kits I'm shipping now have replacement bigger screws for this guy. So if you lose this, you know, tragedy, but I will just keep them as spares in case you lose the other ones. They're interchangeable. All right, let's do this. All right. The trick with doing this 
taking this off and I recommend that you take them off before you remove the front metal plate this makes it a little bit easier to hold them in place so you just want to make sure they're both super loose like super super loose some of these can be long and here we go i actually took one of them i been using a magnetic tip screwdriver and i'm highly recommending you use one too this one came off and this one you see there's a there's more room on this side and less room on the other side so it's a little uh, asymmetrical so this one is gonna come off have to work a little harder to loosen it and it tends to stay there so it's a pair of tweezers just kind of pry it off from there and i see the back it's it's not coming off completely but it's you can definitely lift it off a bit right. and it's out so this happened to have in this model of the lab the screws have equal lengths so you're just gonna need two of them at the end to reassemble this and some other models the screws have different lengths and just use the short ones if they have they're too long and too short and um, that's all i have to say about that i suppose all right so the next step is to remove this metal cover um, can you either extend this or not doesn't really matter for that i highly recommend you use a box cutter i know it looks scary or a very thin phillips screwdriver but this will allow you to do the job really faster so i would put my blade in here on the side actually on the flat side a bit and it could be difficult with this early model lab actually and try to lift it up and you should really wear correction gloves for this all right it's coming off kind of all right so the silver models and the latest models with a bigger adapter plate are the easiest to take off because this metal cover is only held in place by two dots of screw the two dots of glue this one is particularly pain because it's kind of glue all around it so um, kind of lift one of the sides and work way around lifting it be patient and please don't cut your fingers see it's so tight that it actually snapped the tip of my blade i'm gonna leave it on like that for now and at this point i don't know let's keep going a bit i was gonna say use a pair of pliers to kind of rip it off it's it really just held by glue and it just has a decorative purpose with no other purpose you may if you really want to reassemble this as a lab because the mud is not destructive you may want to keep this if you want to give it the original you want it to look like the original lab but otherwise we're going to discard this little metal, annoying metal plate all right oh, it's really yeah. at this point it just has a pair of pliers kind of Rip it off. Hmm. Promise you will come off eventually. There you go. It's off. What we will see is there's some ugly glue marks here. For the actual conversion, I it's gonna look better if you remove this. Just kind of peel it off with a screwdriver and you can clean it with rubbing alcohol it's just glue anyway so at this stage the next step is to take the top off the top is really only held in place by two plastic tabs that connect on the inside in here so what we need to do 
grab on this like that, grab on top, and kind of simply go and slide up. There you go. Oh, I forgot something very important. When you do that, you see there's a little cable there. Well, before we do that, actually. I don't really shoot this video here. Remember to disconnect this ribbon cable from this little side connector. Okay, good. Okay. We're saving this. This is very important. This is the eject mechanism. All right. So what's left inside here? And why am I shooting this update? In here we have the dark slide. We're gonna be reusing this. When you take it out, you can slowly angle it down now works and it's gonna come off. You're gonna see this, this those two tabs. Well, remember them, we need to do something with them. And also a update. This plastic spacer. Do not throw away the spacer. We're gonna be reusing it. Keep it. And you see the eject box electronic with the other side the ribbon cable plugged in all right i'm going to take that out it's pretty well jammed in there so it's not going to work to take it out with your fingers sometimes you work using very solid tweezers but this will do just grab on the side a bit don't worry you're not going to damage the board and we get it out there you go it's out we have no further use for this what i usually do snap it off and reuse the magnets if you push them from the other side there's these tiny cute little magnets that pop off and i found that the same magnets used to hold the viewfinder in the i-type impossible project i-type i1 not i type i1 camera so if you lose some of those if you have the same camera you can reuse these to replace them so we're going to put this aside because i'm not exactly not complete from the trash i'm going to remove those magnets so what are we left with? It's the jack board, the cable attached. Oh, mm -hmm. I, I dropped it. Uh, the other update is that this guy. <laughs> so, in this slot right here sits the a rubber butt a rubber knob the eject button do not lose or throw this away while i was in attention that's and i almost lost it so you want to save this i'm going to save the inner spacer the eject board the dark the dark slide the eject mechanism be very careful with these ribbons. They are very fragile, and if you rip them, their lab is pretty much useless. And the back cover, and four of these tiny screws, these black screws. All right, so this is close to be it. I'm gonna put this aside again. So, but before we do this, let's prepare that this for future use. So, at least for now, I'm removing these retainer tabs. So, the best way to remove this is use a pair of nose needle pliers and kind of bend them over. They fall off. Save you some pain there. Right? And this kind of guarantees a nice clean cut. So bend them up. And if you just bend them once up, they should just come off. There you go. And we're done. Alright, thanks for watching.